you've been thinking, I know you've been thinking seriously whether or not to throw your hat into the Republican presidential ring. It's uh, getting close uh, to a time when you got to make a decision. Have you made a decision yet? Yeah, I've been to New Hampshire nine times, been to Rhode Island, Vermont, all over the state of New York. Yeah, Wolf, I, I've decided not to run. Uh, it was a great experience. I would love to have the opportunity to run, to go all the way. I think I can more than compete with any of those that are in there. But the reality is, as far as money, the fact that I do have a full-time job now on the intelligence and uh, homeland security committees, it, it's just not in the cards. And I, I don't want to be taking up other people's time. I don't want to be, uh, uh, with, you have 19, 20 candidates, whatever it's going to be. Uh, also, another reason I had gone in originally to look at it was I was concerned that it was people like Rand Paul and Ted Cruz were monopolizing the airwaves. They were getting out what they thought was their Republican message. I wanted to counter that. I think I've been somewhat successful in doing that. There are all candidates in the race who are raising national defense issues. So anyway, for a lot of reasons, I'm not running. I would have loved to run, and I uh, wish uh, most of those in the race, I wish them, uh, I wish them well, and uh, I, I will do whatever I can you know, to work with, uh, within the Republican Party. This is the first time, I believe, Congressman, uh, you're telling us flatly you have made a decision not to run for the Republican presidential nomination. I know you've told me in the past you would you would tell me first, but is that is that what I'm hearing right now? This is the first time you've made this announcement. Yeah, this is the first time. I, I've you know, given a lot of thought both ways. I was going back and forth, but I decided uh, not to do it. It's not an easy decision, believe me. Everything in me wants to keep fighting for as long as I can, but I'm uh, also accepting reality. I'm not going off on uh, you know just some wild dream. Uh, I, I've made the decision. That's it. And I just hope that even though I'm no longer a candidate or a contender, that maybe I'll still have the chance to get back on your show every now and then. You certainly will. Uh, a final question. Who do you like among these Republicans out there? Are you ready to endorse someone? No, I'm, I'm not ready to endorse. But I would say that uh, Jeb Bush, Marco Rubio, George Pataki, and there's others. But those are probably the three that I would be leaning toward the most. What about Donald Trump, your fellow New Yorker? Yeah, listen, I, I think it's great that Donald Trump is in the race. Uh, if it goes further, we'll see. I, uh, I you know, uh, like Donald Trump. He's been good to me. Uh, he supported me at some rough times when I was being attacked by others. Uh, so uh, Donald Trump, he's going to add a lot to the race. And I think a lot of people are selling him short. Uh, but right now, I would say the three I mentioned are the ones who are closest. But again, I wish Donald Trump well. I, w I would say, without being overly negative, that two I would oppose would be Ted Cruz and Rand Paul. You don't like either one of them, right? Uh, I don't, certainly don't like their views. I understand Rand Paul is a nice guy, but I don't, I don't agree with his views at all.